Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley with Ashley's DPs and Unboxing and today I am going to do another unboxing from my 11.11 sale that I did from AliExpress. Um, this company is called Moon Crescent, I believe. Yes, Moon Crescent. Um, I have three things from them. Um, they should all be in this package. So, according to the tracking, that's what this is. So let's open it up and find out. It may not be. It might be from another company. I don't know. So I'm gonna. I already kind of popped all the little air things through the bag. I'm just kind of taking a peek to see if this is what it is. I believe it is. So let me set this aside. So it did come wrapped in normal bagging, and then it had the little the little air bubble things, but I poked through the bag at the top, so I made sure I didn't mess anything up. Okay, yeah, I recognize. big item first. I've seen somebody open this on their channel. I can't remember who it was, but this is a cute little organizer kit. And let me see how much I paid for it. I paid $22.69. It says it holds 84 bottles. And... I'm trying to click on it see if it changed price on me. They are now $24.53. This one's the blue color, but it's more of like a teal green. Um, let's see. It says it's 84 bottles, leather, diamond painting, charms, rhinestone, tool, storage bag, diamond painting accessory. So, let's figure out how to open this. I'm just going to cut it open. Maybe. keep waking my dog up from his nap. He keeps glaring at me. It did come with a funnel. It's like a square collapsible funnel. So that's kind of cool. That'll come in handy. The only problem is I have one that's round in my kitchen and I've tried to put the diamonds in the containers with it and they stick to it. But we're going to try it anyway. So it has some nice zippers on it. it. Does have a nice little lift thing. Oh, that smells good. It has a little jasmine air freshener thing in it to keep it smelling fresh. I guess. The only thing I don't like is it does not open all the way to lay flat, and the foam is coming out. So that might just be from, oh, it's because it's upside down. Okay, so straight off the bat, I'm noticing it does have labels, but they're a little bit messed up. I don't know if you see that, but that's okay. Not a big deal. They're just coming off the paper. So these are, I believe it comes with 30 small ones on the top. I don't know how much I'm going to like this kit, to be honest, but it's not their fault. 
So it comes with the dirty small ones and the foam. This is a pain. They seem to be the harder clear plastic. They are the little containers. And then underneath, there's, I believe, this is going to be a pain. They're going to fall out. I think there's two layers. Yeah, there's two layers like this of the bigger containers. But they're not see-through like the little one. So they're a little different. They're more of a harder plastic cloudy lid. But they still work. I'm not sure what I will use this for. I don't know that there is diamond paintings with 84 colors. If there is, maybe, maybe this would be good like for a permanent storage if I kept drill stuff, but I don't. I don't think there's anything down in the bottom. Like I said, it's just another row. It does have leopard print on the inside. I'm not a big fan of leopard print. That's okay. It's just a storage kit. Back in here. So yeah, the only thing I don't like about this is that maybe they could have made it a little taller to where it fit. And it's pretty tight in there. So that's the only thing I don't like is that when you close it, this gets stuck in the top. And... I'm probably going to have to put it upside down, to be honest, because I'm not going to want to keep trying to, there. So I flipped it upside down. Since it wants to keep sticking in the lid, I'll just make it stay in the lid. So then the bigger ones will be in the bottom, and then the small ones will be in the lid. Hopefully they don't fall out, but it's okay. I just wanted the case mainly. It's cute. I'm going to put the little smell good thingy back in here. And I'm going to probably try to set the funnel in there. Probably not. It's not going to fit. I'm going to leave the stickers out. But that's the case that I got. Um, I don't know if I would order that one again. But it's cute. So if anything else, I could take the little containers out and use the case. So let me dig around in here. Now I have two diamond paintings. They are unrolled, so I'm not going to unroll them yet. So please don't hate. But I will show you what they look like. And I'll do another video later on once I start them. I just don't want them to get messed up because I like to keep them together. I can tell you what the sticky looks like just from this corner and the drill fill. Nice and sticky. And the drill fill is pretty clear. May have to use a light pad with it. But this one is a rose skull. That's what it looks like. Oh this is the biggest bag of drills I have ever received. I know that I've seen people unbox drill bags like that, but me, myself, I have never received a bag that big. That's pretty cool. Maybe like separate little baggies, but like. It makes it look like there's no drills except for that bag. That's pretty funny. It has 38 colors. Lots of different symbols that I've never seen before. So hopefully, hopefully the rest of the canvas is clear. But like I said, we will look into that later in another video. Then this one. I ordered again because I had the image from Diamond Art Club and it was just so small and I guess that's why 
I think it ended up clearancing out. It was the rose sheet music. Um, so I saw it on here and I wanted to give it a try. Because I don't think it was... Oh, you guys. I don't think it was a licensed image from what I could tell. Since it's just like a rose. But well, that's going to be pretty. I think because it's bigger. Oh, I forgot to tell you how big it was. Uh, this one, the skull rose is a 40 by 40 and it's round. And this one is a 40 by 50 and it is square. So I got a square and a round from this company. So I get to see kind of both what they are. Neither one of them have the circles around the symbols. So that's cool. Here's the symbols on this one. This one seems more clear than the other one, but I'm not sure. Let me check the other side. It's probably the same. Yeah, and the glue is coming up. So we're going to leave that alone. I don't want to mess it up. And then they taped it right on the seam. So that is that one. It... They wrote on the. Now I'm curious. I'm gonna have to do inventory out on this after I get off the video. They wrote on my sheet right where I would make the sticker. Oh, they put the wrong DMC number here. You can see that they put 732 and it's supposed to be 731. So I'll have to. Just change that with my Sharpie. And then I'll cut that part off. So that I can make my sticker. But it looks like they did inventory, but I'll double check it. Here's what it looks like. With the symbols, you can see that they're all like kind of different. Some of the symbols that they used, I've never seen before, but that's the image. It is basically the same, but I'm hoping that you can actually tell that it's sheet music laying underneath it. Most of you don't know or may know, I used to play the clarinet in high school and in middle school. So I used to play sheet music. So I kind of really liked this image for that. Um, and I was really sad that you couldn't even tell that it was sheet music laying underneath that rose on that little image. Oh, excuse me, from Diamond Art Club. And again, this one has a big old bag. Oh, this has several big bags. You can see the several. There's a big bag of red, probably for the rose, and then this sheet music has this color. And then there's like a greenish black color here. So those are the main colors I'm assuming. So the red is an 817. This is a 38 Choo Choo. And they hand wrote it on there. Which is not a big deal. It's the same labels that came with the pouch. And then, oh, it is 310. It did not look like 310 in the bag. Lots of like greens and reds. I'm not gonna go through that right now because otherwise this video will be extremely long and I'm sure that y'all don't want to watch me do inventory on every single body of So I'm gonna check those offline so that I can confirm that they were received. They did come with two kits for one for each diamond painting. They came with a three placer, a single placer, they both came with metal tweezers. This one's missing the clasp to hold it. And then it came with the little cheap baggies and a white boat with a... Mm. Alright guys, <laughs> a funnel. So overall, mm, I think I'm pretty good with the canvases. Um, the storage kit wasn't bad. I like the little funnel it came with. I, you can see I'm playing with it.
like a child. Um, but the case is cute. I just don't know that I'm going to use it. So I might end up just taking the bottles out and using them separately, maybe with that other kit that I just showed in the previous video from my other Ally Express opening. But other than that, I think between the kit and the canvases, the store was pretty good. I will definitely link it down below for you. You can give it a check out. Um, they seem to email me a lot or try to send me codes or something a lot. Uh, so I'll have to dig through that and see maybe if there's like a, a deal or something. But I think it's just like, hey, we have this on sale. If you're interested, go buy from us. I think they do have like giveaways or some stuff. Excuse me. I almost cussed. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely go check them out. I think it was a pretty good store. I've been wanting to check them out. I believe I may have ordered from them before. Maybe that's why they were emailing me. But I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I. I need to go through my inventory. I need to get organized. Y'all don't even see the mess that's over there in that corner. There's Diamond Art Club boxes stacked everywhere. And I still have three big Diamond Art Club boxes I need to unbox for y'all. And I have some Cotart and some Star Ore. Um, the ones I'm still waiting for to come in from Ally Express. Oh, I gotta tell you the prices too. Are Glymic, I believe. So I already told you the price of the kit. The Rose Skull Diamond Painting is now for 40 by 40. Was it 40 by 40 round? It's now eighteen seventeen, and I paid sixteen ninety one. The rose sheet music one. It's not named that, but it says red rose diamond. Let me see. I paid eighteen eighty eight. It says red rose diamond mosaic full full diamond embroidery kit resin decoration gifts flower. Yada yada. Uh. And I got it in a 40 by 50, so it's now 2077. And that one doesn't give you the option to choose round or square, the other one does. So, I'll show you that's the image so you can see it better. Hopefully, it turns out like that because that's beautiful. Beautiful. And then, let me show you this one. So, those are both really pretty. Those are images I've been watching for a while. So when I saw that kit, I decided to order a couple more things. This is, I can't stop yawning, especially when I don't feel good. I'm sorry, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and do inventory off camera, and then I can confirm whether I got them or not. Um, like I said, I am still waiting on one, two, three, four, four canvases. From Glymic, and I believe that they had if you spent over a certain amount, you got a free canvas. I can't remember if it was them, I think it was them. And then I'm waiting for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from Ever Moment, and I'm waiting on some multi placers like the thin multi placers. I ordered a bundle of them but I hadn't got them yet. I ordered them back on October 26th. So those are taking their sweet time. But other than that, let me see. That's the only thing left that I'm waiting for from AliExpress and that's all from the 11-11 sale. And then for Black Friday and Cyber Monday I got Not black, not Black Friday. No, not Cyber Monday. I think it was for Black Friday. I did like two orders for Diamond Art Club or something like that. I don't know if it was one order then and like one right before it. I think it was. Yeah, I did one on when it would when it had the new buy one 
get one or something like that. And then the other one was 30% off sale for certain members, I think. <sighs> I can't remember. And then I had put, I had done another one before that. So like I said, I have like three boxes with like, I think two boxes have like nine in them and one has six in it. Oh my gosh. I have a problem. Anyways, so my wish list is pretty much done for Christmas. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. If you're new here, please subscribe. Consider it at least. And hit that thumb, that notification bell if you don't mind so you can get notified when I upload. I appreciate you watching and listening to me ramble as always. Y'all are amazing. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. See y'all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.